Bounty classifications. Bigger crimes equal bigger payouts, except for all the times when a client throws a fortune on the head of someone who humiliated them over something small. It happens all the time, and all in the name of pride. But in general, there's a predictive incentive riser backed into the system. From biggest to smallest, here's how the IOCI and the Bounty Hunter Guild classifies hunts. Most Wanted Bounty Range In excess of 200,000 credits These are the big dragfish, the ones the Empire calls imminent threats to public safety or imperial security. The money is great, but don't be stupid enough to think that these as your retirement tickets. Everybody on the most wanted list is there for a reason. One that could be purely political, but could also involve some serious mayhem. At the very least, a criminal on this list has done an incredible job of avoiding capture. That's why now it's our problem, and not buried in some law officer's case file. Killers and maniacs on the most wanted list are usually marked dead or alive. Political decedents are marked locate and detain, which means don't shoot unless you're sure the target is going to survive a blaster bolt where you're aiming. Crimes that land people on the most wanted list include conspiracy, sedition, or treason against the empire. Destruction, theft of imperial property valued in excess of 250,000 credits. Impersonation of an imperial officer. Flight to avoid imperial prosecution. Obstruction of imperial authority. That last one is vague on purpose and is often used to justify some petty power trips. Lots of people will complain to your face about it, but like I always tell them, we bounty hunters are just the messengers. If they want to get mad at someone, they can go shake their fists at Grand Moff. Galactic. Bounty range $50,000 to $200,000 credits. These Sleemos aren't bad enough to land on the most wanted list, but they've earned a galaxy-wide bounty just the same. The Galactic list is tens of thousands of names long, where the most wanted list is only a few hundred, and some of them have been listed for decades. Don't expect any hunts at this level from the guild contractor. By the time you're ready to tackle Galactic Bounty, you'll have long since earned the right to pick your own hunts. Crimes for landing on the Galactic List include Aggression against a member of the Imperial Armed Forces Bribery of an Imperial Official Transportation of restricted items This is a bigger offense than just smuggling and usually means stolen prototypes or super weapon plans. Piracy, especially those rim runners who prey on Imperial drone barges. Possession of a cloaking device. After stigma mines ran dry, cloaking tech became the Empire's little secret. What you should know about this particular crime is that Imperials don't care as much about the person as they do about the person's ship. Regional. Bounty range, 20,000 to 70,000 credits. Like I said, a regional bounty is offered only within a specific galactic region, the Core Worlds excepted. That can be anything from colonies, inner rim, expansion region, mid rim, and outer rim, all the specialty haunts like the centrality. Notably, exceptions are the corporate sector and hut space where local officials direct their own bounty operations independently of the IOCI. Eight out of every ten regional bounties are posted within the Outer Rim territories, so get used to it. It's the biggest place for a target to hide. Crimes that will earn somebody a spot on the regional bounty list include murder of an Imperial government personnel, regular old murder isn't enough to rate a regional bounty, Forgery. A good forger can reproduce anything from an IPKC to a 100,000 credit note, and a good forger is smart enough to not get caught. A forger who's earned a regional bounty probably got backstabbed by a partner, which, if you're smart, is where you should start your hunt. Operating an unlawful starship. 
a private freighter that's got military-grade shielding and a torpedo rack is breaking dozens of laws just by existing. It's rare to see a bounty posted for this crime, but it can happen if a captain skips out on the Bureau of Ships and Services annual shakedown. Transporting Stolen Goods This one is on the books to target the smuggling kingpins who regularly move million credit payloads. When you track one down of them, don't be surprised when they offer you double or triple the bounty value to pay you off. I trust you know by now that nothing comes between a hunter and an acquisition. Sector, System, and Planetary Bounty Range 3,000 credits to 50,000 credits. These bounties are offered within a specific sector system or planet's gravity well. They probably only show up when you're searching a localized node of the data core. Even though they don't have big payouts, a decent hunter can collar this level of low-grade merchandise again and again, making more in pin money than they would if they spent half a year tracking Garl the Conqueror to score a single big payday. Here's what lands somebody on that list. Aiding and abetting criminal activity, murder, kidnapping, transportation of passengers in violation of custom laws, possession of an illegal weapon, smuggling. These are usually small jobs. Operating an illegally modified starship. Usually equipment is legal, but somebody forgot to get the permits. Breaking into an imperial installation. Jamming official communications. Corporate bounties. That's it for the IOCI bounties, but the rules are different when somebody other than the government puts a price on a head. Corporate bounties, for example, have almost nothing to do with public safety. What kinds of crime will make an exec mad enough to hire a hunter? It's all about protecting their profit statements. Industrial espionage. Theft or destruction of corporate property. Criminal trespass on company facilities. Unauthorized use of company database. Malicious corruption of company records. Attempted bribery or intimidation of company employees. Illegal replication of a trademark device. Violation of company security agreement. Underworld bounties. Underworld bounties, by contrast, are always a surprise. You'll see lots of death marks slapped on the heads of majodos who stole from their masters, or who turned traitor by testifying for imperial prosecutors. But because a good chunk of these bounties are posted by the clan leaders on Nelhuda, a crime can be anything that made a cut cranky. A chef who puts too much fleck eels in the pudding, for example. An animal wrangler for the dungeon majore, who was on duty when the Nos monster died of old age. I remember one singer, 20,000 on his head, and he did it all to mispronounce the Hutti's Grantu Chuta, Wondrous One, as Grantu Chuta, Wondrous Runt. Sure, I felt bad when I turned him over to Zero's goons, and I sighed a little when I saw them toss him out the window of Zero's 700th floor penthouse. But a smart hunter goes where the credits are.